lads, it's Jack Shaw fight week. Oh, I can't wait. Hello, boys. Uh, welcome back to some UFC uh, fight night predictions, breakdown, pick them, all of that jazz. Um, yeah, we got a card with people actually watching this week. We're going to be in New York. Well, not me. I'm very far from New York. My chest want to move for some reason. Um, you may notice as well, it's on your camera, that's because I got a new, like, uh, what's it called, ring light, or a new stand, because my other one broke, would you like to see it? Look at this lads, it's been with us ever since the first full time show, podcast, with the fight night reactions, and then look, this bit came off, off the stand, I've had it for years, so you can't blame him to be fair, you can't blame him. Also, I don't know if you can see, Got a good bit of Paolo Costa on the TV. You absolutely love to see that. Anyway, boys uh, and girls, how are we doing? I probably already said that. Let's do our predictions and break that for UFC Fight Night. Also, take us Rodriguez. This is a banging card. I can't even lie to you. But next week, I know I mentioned it every predictions. We've got UFC London. I'm going to be doing loads of videos next week, maybe even daily videos uh, on this. But look at that. Tom Aspinall's their favourite. We love to see that. But uh, it doesn't matter, underdogs and, and favourites. It'll do what it needs to do in the ring. Uh, in ring, octagon. Anyway, first fight Jessica Penne versus Emily Decoot. No clue, Emily Decoot is Jessica Penne. Coming off the win to Carolina Kovalkiewicz. Uh, I believe she won against uh, Luke Cadenas, who I'm very like, I'm very high on Luke Cadenas. She has a split decision. Jeez, she's been very inactive. Look at this lad, ooh, D Taylor as well. Danielle Taylor. That's why I never heard of her, because I've only been watching UFC for two and a half years and she's a, she's gone to a victor, but she lost to her. And then she beat Lupe Cadenas by a split decision. And then, yeah, wow. She's only fought four times in the past seven years. That's like, that's like the two main eventers, pretty much. Um, but this Emily, who's Emily and why is she here? Emily Ducout. Okay, okay. Invicta champion, it looks like. Uh, yeah. She beat, an, and it, she beat Taylor. She beat Taylor. So, uh, what MMA Maps tells us there is she's going to beat uh, Jessica Penny. Has she beaten anyone that's like done well in the UFC? I don't think so. Alright, boys. Next, we've got Dwight Grant versus Dustin Stolz. Stolfus. Uh, uh, Dwight Grant. Is this a middleweight? Dwight Grant's been fighting at welterweight. I believe Dwight Grant's on like a losing streak. To Trinaldo. And he also lost uh, a few months ago. Both at welterweight. He's made the move up to middleweight against Dustin. Not Dustin Borea. But Dustin Stoffelofs. Uh, oh, okay. He was winning that fight against Marshall, to be fair. Uh, and then Rodolfo Vieira, okay, okay, and then Carl Dockers, okay, so he's had three very good grapplers in a row. Dwight Grant, uh, will Dwight Grant really be trying to take him down? Probably not. Dustin will probably have the advantage on the ground. Dwight will have it on the feet, lads. I don't know too much about these two, but I'm going to go Dwight Grant. Dustin, there's two Dustins in a row. Dustin, let's go Dustin Poirier. By the way, lads, a few people were angry that I called Dustin Poirier's win over Conor McGregor dominant. Cry more, lads. Cry more. Paolo's gone. Uh, Dustin Jacoby normally fights on the first fight of the night. He's having a great fight here with Dan Jung. Uh, I believe Dan Jung is coming off the win to Njuchiku. Or am I getting him mixed up? Is he the one that drew to Sam Alvey? Because if it is, he's coming off the win to Njuchiku by that first round KO. Yeah, he is. Uh, and he did beat William Knight as well. Uh, a few months ago, that would have been impressive, but he's on a bit of a losing streak now. Uh, I'm going to go Dustin on that one. Bill Aguio versus Herbert Burns. It's, I believe Herbert Burns is the brother of Gilbert. I believe so. I'm not just saying that. I actually think he is. I think I've seen it somewhere. Uh, but Herbert will be looking to take it down. Bill will be looking to keep it standing. Um, we're going to go with Herbert Burns. Do you know why? because the Burns is always tough. Jack Shaw, fight week boys and girls. We love Jack Shaw. Jack Shaw, his walkout is the thing that gets me every time. 
I love Jack Shaw. Ricky Simone is a beautiful fighter. You know what? I did watch earlier on Fight Pass. Uh, his loss against Uriah Faber because I saw a tweet that was like the crowd went really mental when uh, Uriah Faber won because of course it was in Sacramento and that is uh, where the California kid is from. But I'm going to go Jack Shaw. You know why? Jack Shaw is the GOAT. He's the GOAT. And uh, Punahili Soriano is on a bit of a losing streak to Brendan Allen and Maximo Dalcha Lungiambula. Ooh. Look at the reach. Advantage. He's got a good reach uh, for his height. He's like 5 for 8, but with. What's that, 75, 76 inch reach? Uh, but I'm going to go Soriano for this one. I believe he gets it done. Both coming off losses, of course. Main card time, boys and girls. Lauren Murphy versus Misha Tate. This fight was supposed to be a couple weeks ago, but Lauren Murphy got COVID. I'm not going to lie to you, lads, right? I don't like Lauren Murphy because in the whole build-up to the Valentina fight, she seemed really cocky. And then I don't think she even landed like a punch. She landed maybe a few leg kicks in their fight. And then she got absolutely dominated. But Misha making her debut at flyweight. Very interesting. Uh, I'm I'm going to wedge towards Lauren on this one, though, to be fair. I'm going to have to. I've seen a lot of people picking Misha. I believe Misha is the favourite, but I'm going to have to edge towards Lauren. I hope Misha wins, though. hope Misha wins. Boys, we have our fight of the night guaranteed. This one right here. Shane Burgos versus Charles Jourdain. I love both these fighters. Charles Jourdain has, like, well, I think it was a 100% finish ratio, and then he fought Andre Yule, and then Andre Yule survived, like, barely. Like, I remember the final moments of the fight through, like, a, a kick to the stomach, and Andre Yule just went flying. It was amazing. And I love Charles Jourdain's TikToks as well. They're very good. Uh, if you're watching, Charles, I love you. But... Uh, Shane Burgos is no easy fight. As you can see, Shane is the favourite. Um, but one thing that stands out to me in this matchup is the reach advantage for Shane Burgos. That is almost a 20 centimetre reach. Uh, very unfortunate for Charles Jourdain. But who knows? It's a toss up. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'm going to say Charles, you know. I reckon Charles wins it. Um, but Shane Burgos, yeah. Look up. Look out for his leg kicks. He goes with his kick. He goes with his hands. Uh, he's coming off the winter for Bor it. Billy Quarant Quarantello, is that his name? Uh, in New York. He is fighting in New York again. I believe I saw a tweet that he's undefeated in New York. Uh, so let's see if he keeps that going. Matt Schnell versus Su Sudamandre. Now, I said a few weeks ago in my like UFC 274 predictions, I'd be surprised if Matt Schnell made it to the octagon so I wouldn't break his fight down. He made it to the octagon against Brandon Royval, dropped him, and then got submitted. But I don't know much about Suleiman. I don't know much about him. Uh, please, please don't make fun of me for not knowing his name, lads. I'm not Chinese. That's so why he's beating Sukumsal Gordon. I can't believe that. Is this the guy that's like 4 and 4? That he's coming from again. Yeah. And he lost to Louis Smoker on his debut. Wow. Um, I'm going to go match now. I believe Sue. So I just don't know enough about him match now. Uh, yeah, I think we see him get back in the win column. Um, in a few days. Lee. By the way, I just want to make this point across. Why is Jack Shaw versus Ricky Simone on the prelims? Absolute disgrace. Get it on the main card. Yeah, and why are these? Like, come on, get do a swap. Matt Schnell on the prelims. Jack Shaw on the main card. Absolutely. Get it done, UFC. Uh, but we've got Lee Jing Liang versus Muslim Sakhalov. Uh, Lee Jing Liang, of course, is coming off the loss to Hamza Chimaev. Uh Muslim is coming off the win to Trinado, where it looked absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to go Muslim. I believe Muslim. I don't see him being like a future top five or anything like that, but I see him being a staple in the welterweight division. Uh, I believe he wins this fight by decision. I believe he has the grappling advantage. Very close on the feet, though. Very close on the feet. Michelle Waterson uh, against Amanda Lemos. Uh, both of these two coming off losses. Michelle, I believe, is still coming off the loss to Marina Rodriguez. And uh, Lemos in that main event against 
I drop. Now, a lot of people are still putting stock into Lamos, even after that loss. I believe she's a pretty big favourite. We'll see when we like put our picking results in, in a second. Um, but Michelle Watson, the absolute queen of being far of bad punches being like five miles away from our opponent's face. Absolutely. It's like that uh Turcos's guy last weekend. He had like twelve <laughs> head strikes out of two hundred. Oh, it was amazing. But I'm gonna go lay off on this one by decision. Now lads, I I think I well I don't know who will win the fight because I've not seen it yet and it hasn't happened yet. But a lot of more people are saying Ortega and he's the favourite. Well I think Yaya wins. Yaya looked really good against Holloway. He only lost because he got controlled by Max. And he, his wrestling still looked really good in that fight. I think if it's a stand-up fight for 25 minutes, Yaya or Rodriguez wins the fight. But I just... Ortega... Yeah, I mean you never know if Ortega as well, he could finish the fight at any moment. I just think if it goes 25 minutes on the beat, Yaya Rodriguez wins, and that's how I see the fight going. I mean, yeah, let's just put our results in to uh, pick them out. Jack Shaw's a minus 188 favourite. I remember when the odds opened, it was even, so Jack Shaw's got a lot of hype in him for this fight, and I can't wait to see him win. Hopefully he gets a finish. Who knows? Yeah, Match now is a 200 favourite. This guy's got a lot of hype in him. Jeez. Only 22% of people think Yaya wins. Well, I'm one of them, and I believe uh, there'll be a lot of strikes landed in the main event. I'm going to go 375. Yeah. Anyway, boys, thanks for watching. If you like this, like, Paolo's gone again, guys. It's like whenever he fights, he, he doesn't turn up. I'm sorry, I do like Paolo. Uh, but, lads, thank you for watching. Uh, see you for UFC London Fight Week daily videos. Bye.